Devo Conquering Mega Eagle! Right, folks, so I've uh, been wanting a petrol or gas uh, air compressor for, for quite a long time. Um, you know, my needs are changing constantly, so we're going to build one, yeah? Um, okay, we got about, uh, I don't know, um, 400 quid worth of bits here. Uh, big pump, 26 CFM pump, wants a uh, five and a half horsepower electric motor to drive that. So we've got a nine horsepower petrol engine, uh, wheelbarrow wheels to stick on the gas bottle. Okay, you know, this is gonna be looking a bit dodgy to <laughs> those in the know about, um, uh, you know, compressed, uh, compressed air but uh we'll we'll make it safe and uh i'll explain as we go all right okay Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it, hey? <laughs> One little ingot to spare. and then they slowly set up a system where now you retroactively make it legal mm -hmm. through you know different 
ways, legal mechanisms, things like that. And this kind of uh, policy extends pretty far, like the, the Coast Guard law that came out with recently that basically allows, they're giving justification for the Chinese Coast Guard to essentially take over disputed territorial waters in the South China Sea. Right, and, and it gives them a... a Okay, so that is the tanks done. I, I'll make it very clear. Um, this is the only welding I'm going to do on these tanks. So um, I made a quarter inch hole and then stuck this stuck this fitting on, and that's a malleable iron fitting, so it welds all right and it's not it's not brittle like you know regular cast iron or whatever. And uh, and what the hole being much smaller inside. Should mean that it's it's got no no tendency to want to propagate a crack from from where I welded. Everything's everything's mild steel on the tank side. Um, either way, I'm going to get these two out of the way now until they're ready to paint and uh, get on with the uh, the framework to mount the the engine and compressor.
Scrapbooks on company time. Shortly after he met his future <laughs> nurse, nurse Kristen Kinney, who broke off an engagement to get together with him. Swango himself had recently. Okay, look, this is where we're up to so far. We've got a, a chassis with a hitch and jockey wheel at the front. Um, cradles for these two receivers. And a leaky roof that's dripping on the uh, <laughs> on the engine plate there. A mounting plate, um, whatever. We've got the compressor mounted up there. as well. <laughs> Bit of a gap there. And... A couple of horns sticking out the back because I want to put a little bumper. Um, obviously, the thing that we don't want is to, you know, in any way rupture a tank. Um, so it's it's definitely better that these poke out wider than the tanks. But also, you know, these cost me more than the tanks. So I will put a little bumper at the back just so I can do some uh, sonic reversing and that. Um, yeah, yeah, I, you know, this is I suppose the easy bit, the easy bit. Um, what um and probably what i'm going to do is uh give you a little video of this and then um we'll do the the tin work and the and the plumbing in the next video um i've got some bits and pieces there's a, a few important things we need to do with a engine driven compressor we need to um hook the throttle of the engine up to what's known as a a, a piloted unloader so the unloader aspect of it um dumps you know when it reaches its pressure it dumps the dumps the air from the compressor it's got a one-way valve so nothing comes back out of the tank and then dumps the air from the compressor overboard yeah and a piloted unloader also has a little takeoff with a pneumatic actuator to operate the throttle so when when it is unloading the compressor air and not putting it into the tanks it throttles the engine down yeah so it's a, you know we've got air in the tanks above um when it hits 125 psi, uh, it will start diverting that compressor air back to atmosphere and also throttle the engine down. Um, and uh, what is it? You know, a lot less heat build up. 
uh, a lot less wasted fuel, a lot less wear and tear on both the engine and the compressor. Yeah. Okay, so it's, uh, you know, uh, and also the the plumbing. I'd like to do something a bit different. Um, I'm thinking about ditching that. I hate this. You know, it's a nice solid compressor, but um, this. Uh, I can't remember what they call them, finned, finned pipe or whatever it is, is the shittest. So you know, not really much point. I mean, there's a there's a layer of paint between the uh, between the pipe and the fins. Bit shit, bit shit. I think we could probably build a better one. Um, but you know, this is only this is only taking the air from one one piston. You know, so this the the air out here goes along this pipe, joins up, and then both of them come come out uh, so we might might just completely redesign that but I don't want this to take forever but at the same time I spent quite a bit of money on these uh, these two components and some sexy wheels so uh, <laughs> so uh, you know I'd quite like to make it as good as I can within the uh, time constraints that I currently have um, while well, we're doing this now this is a uh, ever so important to the um, to the uh, to going forwards with the with the underground workshop project yeah so there's two things you know it'd be nice if I could operate a um, what's known as a tunnel pick uh, so it's, it's a you know like a smaller version of a road drill or um, a, a bigger version of a pneumatic chipping hammer um, something that you can hold up horizontally and dig out tunnels hence the name tunnel pick pneumatic tunnel pick it would make life a lot easier um, but more importantly than that I need to I need to investigate shotcrete and um, spraying concrete onto walls yeah because um, that's hopefully um, given some favorable ground conditions that's hopefully how we'll be uh, doing the walls of the um, of the bunker in um, in shock cream yeah that's about it for this video the uh um the tanks you know uh these these are pressure tested to really quite high i think it's about 500 psi or whatever is the pressure tank pressure test stamp on them so um i'm only going to take them up to 125 um obviously i've I messed around with them a little bit not too much all, all i've really done to these tanks is uh Grind them, grind them flat where they had stuff welded to them, and attach uh, a couple of fittings to put drains in. Yeah, because we, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get moisture in these tanks, and we need to be able to drain it out so it doesn't rot the tank from the inside out. I've not gone mad on taking the old paint off because um, they're galvanised, um, and you know, um, <laughs> I don't want it in my lungs, and it's nice to keep it for protection. So uh, um, yeah, I, we kept as much of that as possible. Um, there's always a big difference in, in paints um, you know what comes off a paint strip and what doesn't and obviously that one came off a lot a lot easier than this one and most of this has been cleaned up with thinners and um, yeah, it's just getting a bit wasteful now <laughs> so, so I'm probably just going to prime straight over the top of that that'll be alright though I mean um, you know it's nice to know that there's a, uh, a layer of zinc underneath the paint isn't it um, <clears throat> chassis is pretty simple there um, and what uh, what I'll probably do is do all the plumbing, fire it up, give it a little test run, um, and uh, see if it if it shakes around a lot, then we're going to have a bumper on the back or a fender, and uh, I'll put a couple of little outriggers at the end of that if it's uh, flapping around all over the place. I'd rather not. Um, just not, nice to keep it simple, but uh, you know if it needs it, it needs it, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, and then we'll. Um, We'll put a nice, uh, nice lid on it, make it out of steel, and do something, uh, I don't know, sort of 1950s industrial chic, I suppose. All right, okay. Arcing trains. Yeah, go on. Um, well, that's that's going to be it for today, then, folks. And uh, and what? Hopefully, this weather lets up when I can get back in the hole. Um, and, uh, and what? You take it easy, guys. As always, you know, just favour. Just favour mate, uh, hit the like button and uh, help me help me get my videos out, help me get those shekels coming in and uh, that will pay for more fun things in the uh, in the um, underground workshop bunker. Alright, okay, take care folks, see you again, bye bye.